Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? Nice to see you. Bye. <laughs> Okay. Excellent. Vamos a ver how many are here. Vamos a ver, Adriana, Sofía. Adriana, Sofía, no viene. Ana Alicia. Uh -huh. Ana Grisel, David, Diego Batres, Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michelle. Grace Michelle, no. Ivonne Marcela. Ivonne. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jessica Lisset, José Alberto, present teacher, Karen Janet, present teacher, Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Lizeta Yanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. Rebeca. Rosailda. Present teacher. Víctor. Víctor Manuel. Karen y Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. Ok. Vamos a dar una segunda vuelta. Adriana Sofía. Ana Present. Alicia. Present. Ana Alicia. Ana Grisel. David. Diego. Elmer Fabricio. Grace. Eh, present teacher, sorry. Eh, aún estoy en la universidad, pero ya casi voy a salir. Ya. Okay, Grace.
Eh, Ivo Marcela. Presente. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Lisset. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Rebeca. Victor. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. Ok. Bueno, es. It's Thursday. Que ya huele a vacación, ¿verdad que sí? <laughs> How do you feel? Hmm? It's about the free. Free. Yes, that's the word. That's the word, Marcela. Free. It's about vacation time. Right? So in 24 hours, you will be like, yes, we were going on vacation. A very deserved vacation, I know. Okay, well, I'm going to ver. I'm going to share the presentation with you. This is our session number four. I'm sharing. July 28th, right? Hmm. Oh. And uh, the topic that we're going to be studying today is SWOT analysis, product practice. Remember that last, uh, let's see, a couple of days ago, you were, create, you were generating ideas for a new product, remember? First, you were with the idea generation and you were also screening and you went on the description of the concept of your new product. So today, we continue thinking about that new product that you, design, that you designed a couple of days ago. But this time, we're going to think about the SWOT analysis product. What is what? Who has an idea of what is what? No idea? Yes, Adriana, Sofia? Is, it, is the analysis of it's an analysis of a, of a company mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the ability of um, and it can it is strong weakness opportunities and threats i think it's the other way uh -huh. threats. threats threats yes uh -huh. very good thank you yes nubia do you want to add something it's a uh, debilities um how do you say for Kalisa? The strength. strength. The strength of the one company. Mm -hmm. Only the strength. Mm -hmm. Only the strength. It's the strength and the abilities. Mm -hmm. The weaknesses. Yes. We will be adding the strength weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, okay? So we will know what is each of those words, right? What do they mean? Excellent. Now, uh, making a review of yesterday's class, remember yesterday we were talking about reducing adverb clauses of time, yes? Remember, we were saying at the first thing, uh, oh, the first thing you do when you reduce an adverb of clause, an adverb clause, sorry, is first 
you have to identify the adverb clause and the independent clause, right? Or subordinate clause as you want to know it, to call it. Then, uh, then you are going to identify the time word, right? Identify the time word, identify the subject of each of the sentences. Check if the subject in the adverb clause is the same subject in the independent clause, in the dependent clause, sorry. Because at the moment you are reducing that clause, first to keep the, word, the time word, then you remove the subject and you change the verb or the have the verb to gerund, right? To ing form. But something that you have to be careful with out first is if the subject of one is the subject of the other. See? If the subject is exactly the same, you can do it. If no, mm -mm. Right? Is it the same? Yes, it's not the same. If it is the same subject, you reduce it. If it's different subject, you cannot reduce it, right? Okay, any questions? No questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, now look at this sentence. Choose the best option to correct it. What's the best option? I think it's B, teacher. You think it is B? Yeah. Yes, little B. Before he left on vacation, he finished. Before he left on vacation, he finished the project. Pero me voy a ir a traer una bolsita de hielo. Que esa terapia de ahora me dejó adolorida. Give me a second. Okay, a ver, before he left on vacation, he finished the project. How would you reduce that sentence? Mm -hmm. How would you reduce it? Hello? 
letter C? Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> remember, going back to the rules, remember, one, you keep the word, the time word. Second, you reduce the subject. And third, change the verb to gerund. The gerund is the ing, right? Uh huh. Vaya, vamos a ver. Which is the best option? Letter B. Mm -hmm. Because we have the, the time word, we omitted the subject, that is this one. And then the verb is changed to gerund, right? So you say, before leaving on vacation, he finished the project. Nice. Let it be. Next. As soon as he bought the house, he moved in and furnished it with beautiful furniture. Mm -hmm. As soon as he bought the house, he moved in and finished it with beautiful furniture. Which is the best option for reduction here? I think teacher letter A. Vaya, fíjense que quiero que me participen. Me soy. Uh, Así es que los voy a mandar, los voy a mandar a, en grupos. Porque estoy interesada en que todos me discutan la, la actividad. Vamos a ver. Los voy a poner porque no, no quiero escribir en el chat de Zoom. Se lo voy a mandar. Se lo voy a mandar allí al chat de WhatsApp. Para que ustedes... Eh, en parejas, ¿verdad? O en grupos trabajo. That's the first one. Okay. I have only seven sentences for you. So you check the sentence, read them, right? Remember to apply uh, the rules that we were studying yesterday to choose the best option. Y solo recordándoles que la clase la hacemos todos. I'm waiting for the number five because now as I wanted to make them big, they are all separated, right? One in each. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Okay, vaya, eh, check, check the WhatsApp group. You will find the questions there in the WhatsApp group. Sorry, estoy con, estoy con cámara cerrada ahorita porque les comenté, tengo dolor y me estoy poniendo hielo hoy. En un momento abro cámara, pero aquí estoy. I'm watching you. Vaya, vamos a okay. ver. I'm going to send you, we are 17. 17, dos oyentes. Hmm, hacemos group, groups of three. So you have enough time to, or enough people, right, to check. 
Vamos a ver. Uy, se me desapareció un par. Bueno, solo vamos a ver que los dos oyentes no me queden en el mismo grupo. Hmm, perfecto. Vale. Check the WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, you have the call the sentences. And you will have to choose applying the rules that we were discussing, which is the best option, right? Check which is the best option that following the rules is the best reduction of, of other clauses. There you go. Try to join. Try to join, Anna. Try to join, I send you there the invitation. Comparto si gusta. Ah, por favor. Sí. No, este, desde el WhatsApp lo voy a hacer. Si ven un mensaje raro, hagan de cuantos casos que no han visto nada. No, mentira. Okay. <risa> Fotos comprometedoras no las vamos a ver. Ajá. Sí. No, no, mentira. Ajá, Rosy. No, teacher, pero es que a veces las desgracias existen. Pero me quedo no encuentro. Aquí creo que estamos. Ay, bueno, la número uno ya estuvo, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno. Mira que el día que se me abrió el micrófono, <ríe> ni cuenta, me di. <ríe> y qué vergüenza. Nosotros tampoco. <ríe> Mire, y yo quería apagar cámara, salirme, no ya va que hacer. <ríe> me sentía penado. <ríe> Más que molestando me estaban. Vale. Este. Number two. In the first one. Hola. Maybe the first one. As soon as buying the house, he moved in and furnished it with beautiful furniture. Mm -hmm. A mí me está costando un poquito esta porque no logré entender muy bien el día de ayer, pero... Yo que no estuve. Vieron el video, es que recuerden, si no pueden estar, vean el video. Pero me Dice, no me yo he visto hasta el todavía. minuto 40 porque de repente se queda así como... A, 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 y quise volver Ajá. y nadie no, no pude avanzar. No, y el video. No, por eso, el video, vi hasta el minuto 40. Y no le cargo. Se traba. Se traba. Me salgo, vuelvo a entrar y se queda. Ah, 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 ah. Y no avanza. Qué raro. Uh -huh. Qué raro. Pero, pero quizás porque, bueno, por ejemplo, yo me voy saltando para ver acabar lo importante, las explicaciones. Ah, sí. oh. Cuando estaba en el room, de la manera de que no. Ajá, ajá. 
Porque, o sea, ahorita que vine de, de, del trabajo, pero sí, fíjese, Rosy, que si sí. se saltó los rooms de cuando los mandé a trabajar, se perdió la mejor parte. Ah, pues lo voy a volver a ver, teacher, porque sí, o sea, lo he dejado en pausa porque lo quiero ver completo. Porque, porque en los rooms, de cuando los mandé a trabajar la parte esa de grammar, en los rooms, allí iba aclarando las dudas de cada grupo. No, teacher, este, en los rooms que adelanté fue en el diálogo. Ah, ah, no, Ajá. no, no. No he logrado llegar a esos. Ah, vaya, este, uh -huh. lo que se descargue bien, ¿verdad? Y, y váyase a la parte de cuando le expliqué el punto y cuando los mandé a trabajar los, a los rooms, porque allí en los rooms yo los anduve viendo y ahí les anduve bien aclarando las dudas de cada grupo. Ok. El de Cristina sí estuvo, ¿verdad? Ya yes, teacher. Ok. Vaya, ilustre, ilustre a estos muchachos, vaya. Vamos. Please. <ríe> Bueno, usted dice en el letter A, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Eh, I think because as soon as is a clause of time. Uh -huh. and an adverb of time. An adverb of time, yes. And uh, the noun uh -huh. is he in the first phrase. And in the second is he too. Uh -huh. So we can do the, the remove. Mm -hmm. Remove the the the, the, the first no. the first known. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we put the Vaya. remember the advertising. Mm -hmm. Remember uh, what I told you with this with this advert of time. When you use the uh -huh, when you use the advert of time as soon as when you want to reduce it, you eliminate the as soon as and you, you eliminate the subject and you replace this as soon as with upon. With upon or on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. De hecho, lo poco que he entendido, pienso a mi criterio, a lo que he entendido, que la letra B sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. yes. Ajá, yes, because you change as soon as, well, you eliminate the as soon as, and you uh -huh. replace it with upon or on. So... Is the in the house, letter in the letter B, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Upon buying the house, because remember, you eliminate the subject and you change the verb to ing, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you, saw, you say, you say oh, upon buying the house, he moved in and furnished it with beautiful furniture. Uh -huh. No, vamos a tener que anotar porque estoy desde el WhatsApp, no puedo After. marcar. That's okay. Okay, okay. But, well, teacher, we have a question. Uh -huh. um, we are um, discussing about the APAM. Mm -hmm. um, when we change the the um, los auxiliares, estas cositas, los las clases, as soon as cambia a upon. Exactly. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. But but we are not sure um, how this um, cómo funciona, how this work. Vaya. When you make that change, because your adver your adver of time is as soon as. You replace the as soon as, you eliminate it, right? And okay. then you replace it with upon or on. Ah, okay. Yeah. And then you do the rest of the activities the same way that you eliminate the subject and you change the verb to ing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, ok, ok. Mm. Pues sí. Okay. Adriana has right. Yes. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Ok, number three. After, after the teacher arrived, the students sat down at their Teacher, good evening. Este, cuando no existen las palabras como after, before, igual, no se pueden reducir. ¿Y qué va a reducir si no hay? Lo que me reduce es un adverb clause. Si no hay un adverb clause, no hay nada que reducir. Ah, ok. As no es un adverb clause. Entonces la cuatro. No. No change possible. Yesterday we say that as is similar to while. It's an adverb. Using it as an adverb of time. Pero as en el contexto. Es una cosa de ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Es una cosa de ¿Cómo? Yes. No les entiendo, que me están hablando las dos al mismo tiempo y un fondo más allá. <laughs> what, what, what did you say about us? It's not possible to remove. No, you don't remove it. Ay, remember the give the time work, you eliminate the subject and you change the verb That's the rule, right? Okay. So I have a question with the number two, with the will the outcome. I know remember when, when you use this, this work. Your, Remember the rule, right? Uh -huh. You keep the word, you keep the time, you remove the subject, Just change the Yeah. Sí. But the first thing, the first thing you have to do is that Karen no tiene forma de ganarle a la tele o radio. O, o, me, o me cierra el micrófono porque nos va a penalizar YouTube y me va a hacer reponer esta clase. Thank you. Bye. Check it. In the number two, as you have. As soon as, no es as, sino que es as soon as. Todo ese es su, su, su adverb. Ya right? estuvo. Thank you. Okay, this is the adverb clause. As soon as. Uh -huh. the, as soon as he bought the house, he moved in and finished it. Pero lo que usted tiene que hacer es identificar cuál es su adverb clause. Y su adverb clause es as soon as he bought the house. Entonces, esto es lo que tiene que reducir. ¿Sí? Pero les decía yo ayer. Sí. As soon as se elimina. Se elimina el as soon as y se reemplaza por upon or On. ¿Por cuál dice? Upon or on. Upon on or on. Upon or on. No le entiendo, teacher. ¿Cómo, cómo se escribe? Aquí está. No le entiendo. Ahí está. Upon. Upon. Ah, upon. Sí, sí, lo estoy viendo. Upon. Upon. Or on. En este caso, el ejemplo que le dan es con upon. Teacher, y es. Is a rule change the as soon as for upon. 
or letter I is a possible solution. Excuse me, can you repeat? Is it really cambiar el as soon as uh -huh. or upon or on? Uh -huh. Es regla o se podría dejar. No, 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 es regla. Es regla, ah, ok, ok, ok. Ahí no puede dejar as soon as buying, sino que tiene ah. que dejar el as soon as Ah, ok. ¿Mm? okay. Gracias, teacher. Sí. En algún otro caso van a encontrar solo as, ¿verdad? Pero as, en ese, cuando ustedes encuentran as, el as está actuando como while. Pero no, no, no lo encontraríamos al inicio, sino que intermedio. O si sea, al inicio. Como no, puede ir en medio, puede ir en, al, al principio, no hay problema. Ok. Sí. Pero no estaría así toda la palabra asunas. No, no va a decir asunas, sino que solo as. Ok. Imagínense que usted dice, as I was coming to work, I saw an accident. Es, es el as es seguido por una oración en present continuo. No, en past continuo. As I was es como es, es como del ejemplo 4, teacher. Ajá. As I was driving. Exacto. Uh -huh. As I was driving, I saw an UFO. Ya. Yeah. Ya voy. Exacto. Bueno, después lo voy a entrar. Yes. Ok. Vaya. Ahí la, allí las di. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Si alguna puede compartir, sería fantástico, chicas. Todo el mundo bueno. tiene permiso. Hoy. Okay. <ríe> A todos les doy permiso para compartir. Uh, not change possible? Vamos a ver. After he finish. Sería como after finishing, pero no está. Tendría que cambiar mm. en el modo de mm -hmm. mm. Remove the subject. There is another possibility, remember. There is another possibility. Remember that the last, the last uh, instruction says a gerund or a noun. A gerund or a noun, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. After. Can you say after yeah? the paper he went to work? Uh -huh. After finish the paper, he went to work. He went to work. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Dicho, no nos encontramos. <laughs> Pero no. Están escondidas. Eh. Como que no nos quedan muy claras las algunas reglas, Ticha. ¿Qué regla no les queda clara? Por ejemplo, la de... En el caso que va Wario, pero estamos viendo que, que es el verbo en la oración original. El verbo es, este, está en gerundio. While I was watching. No sé si eso afecta. Ajá, ¿y qué sucede entonces? No sé. I don't know. Ver, no, no, díganme porque yo les dije ayer. ¿Qué sucede allí? Elda, please help us. ¿Qué, le, ¿Qué les dije yo? ¿Qué sucede si ocupan el verbo to be en la oración? ¿Qué pasa con el verbo to be? 
Ah, se elimina. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más eliminamos? Advertise. Ajá. Yo elimino el subject, uh -huh. elimino el verbo to be, ¿y qué más? El advertise. ¿Y después qué pasa? No. ¿Cuál es el cambio del verbo? Angie. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Entonces sería while watching TV, I found out the new. After, after watching TV, ¿qué? Ajá. Uh -huh. After. After watching TV. While watching TV, I found out the news. After watching TV? After, but it's uh, not after. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? But the option don't have a after. What are your options? While watching TV? In the letter A, while watching TV, I found out the news. And the B is no change possible. Uh -huh. And letter C, I watching TV, I found out the news. What is while? Is the advert. The time. Albert time. It's an advert clause, right? Mm -hmm. oh. It's an advert of time. Don't say, uh -huh. ¿Qué advert of time va a buscar? No me va a buscar after porque no es con after la oración. ¿Qué mm, advert of the, time? Why? Exacto. ¿Cuál sería la correcta entonces? Letter A. While watching mm -hmm. TV. While watching TV. Exacto. Okay. Letter A. <laughs> Todo <laughs> eso <Okay. laughs> uh, Teacher, es que no suena sospechoso, es que según hemos entendido, todas son del el A. <laughs> en serio. Pero no suena raro. Bueno, a mí me parece extraño que todas sean. <laughs> Más de alguna va a ser bueno. <laughs> ok, no, number seven. As the sun was rising, I put on my clothes and went to work. As the sun was rising, no. We eliminate the bird to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and the known. I think that is not change possible because in the first one, the uh -huh. subject is the sound, the, the sound, and the other one is I. I, uh huh. Mm -hmm. No change possible. Good. Un minuto de silencio. <laughs> Okay. 
Esa era la última. Sí, no, no Ah, sí, esa es la última. Esa es. Uh -huh. sí. Revisamos para ver. Sí, eso está uh -huh. viendo. Ok, volveré. Pues ¿Qué dice ese mensaje? No, 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 no. <risa> Esa es la primera, ¿verdad? Ah. Ya lo quité. Ya les dije, ojos. <risa> no se va a leer. Ah. One minute. Muy okay. bien. Vamos a ver quién estamos. Ah, ok. Se niegan a venirse, ya lo vi. <ríe> Hasta el último segundo, teacher. Vamos a ver. Teacher, es que creo que andamos un poquito perdiditos. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? En el tema, quizás eso es. ¿Por qué? Si está bien fácil. Ah. Vaya, remember que pónganle atención a las reglas, ¿verdad? Porque pegan para todos. Te che. Les voy a poner las, eh, las de ayer que teníamos. Las que me hacen. Remember that we were saying, uh, depending on the type of adverb clause, you will reduce it in a different form. I saw the Tara Sustan. Vamos a pegarla aquí. Porque eh, lo que les. Lo que les ha pasado es que se me han ido con, se les olvidó lo de, dependiendo del adverb clause, la regla puede variar, ¿verdad? Bye, check. If I use before, after, o since, que son así como que los más comunes, you keep the time work. Then you remove the subject and you change the verb to gerund or you use a noun. Por ahí se le daba un caso donde tienen que usar un noun. ¿Sí? Hasta ahí estamos bien. I check the other one. When we use as in the reduced clause, you delete the as. So, el as no se queda. You remove the subject también. And then you change the verb to gerund. See? ¿Sí? Then you say, as I was falling asleep, I yeah. thought about my friends in Italy. Como, first we eliminate as, and then we eliminate the subject, and then we eliminate the verb to be. ¿Verdad? Recuerden. Eh, el verbo to be, si en una clause tiene verbo to be, lo elimina. No dejamos ninguna clause, ninguna con el verbo to be. Ese se elimina. Then you eliminate I, as, 
Eliminate the subject and eliminate the verb to be. Y deja solamente falling. And then you say, falling asleep. Falling asleep, I thought about my friends in Italy. Yeah. Another one. As she was driving to work, igual, eliminate as, eliminate the subject and the verb to be. Aquí ya no hay verbo que cambiar a Jeron. Porque ya está en Jeron. ¿Verdad? Entonces ya lo deja así en Jeron. Así como está. Question here. No. Vaya. Y el otro era. Si usamos asunas, we delete asunas and we replace it with upon or on. En vez de asunas, you will use upon or on. Then you remove the subject and you change the verb to gerund. And then you have, as soon as she finished the report, she gave it to the boss. Remember, you eliminate as soon as, and you eliminate the subject, and you change the verb to ing. Then, mean, you replace as soon as for upon or on. Then you eliminate the subject, and you change the verb to ing. Sí. Bye. Hoy sí. A ver, number one. Before he left on vacation, he finished the project. Very good. Letter B, exactly. You say before leaving. I keep the, the word, the time word. I eliminate the subject and I change the verb to ing, right? Before leaving. What about this one? As soon as he bought the house, he moved in and furnished it with beautiful furniture. Mm -hmm. The letter B teacher. Letter B, exactly. Exactly. Fine. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. As we eliminate as soon as we eliminate the subject, we change the verb for ing, y el as soon as se reemplaza por upon, right? So, Bones. upon buying the house, he moved in and furnished it with beautiful furniture. A ver, what about this one? After the teacher arrived, the student sat, Let sat down I... and at their desks. Letter? B. Letter A. 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 ¿Por qué? Because no change possible. The, the noun in the first part the is teacher and the second is the student. Exactly. So we have the first subject is the teacher and the second subject is the student. So there is no change possible, right? A ver, what about this one? As I was driving, I saw a UFO. Driving, I saw a UFO. Driving, I saw a UFO, yes. Because you eliminate as, you eliminate the subject, and you eliminate the verb to be. See? Next. After he finished the paper, he went to work. No answer is correct. Mm -hmm. We think we we were discussing about it and and uh, we think that um, ninguna is correct. Are you sure? But we are not sure. Yeah. Vaya. Letter A. Number A. 
letter A. Okay. Uh, because you can change uh, with a gerund or with a noun. Exactly. Because you can leave it with a gerund or with a noun. And in this case, I have a noun, the paper. I eliminate the subject and I eliminate the verb. See? Okay. Then I can... Uh, you can perfectly say after finishing the paper, he went to work. That's okay. But we don't have that option, right? We don't have that option, but that could be an option if it were there. After finishing the paper, he went to work. Yes. Or after the paper, he went to work. Mm -hmm. oh, I understand that letter A and B could be, could be right. No, no B, because the verse should be in ING form. So B is not possible. Mm -hmm. B definitely is not possible. Yeah, porque tendría que decir after finishing, no after finished. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, and after finishing, it's a uh, correct too. After finishing will be correct. Ah, okay. okay. So, no está, ¿verdad? so you can yes. <laughs> after finishing the paper, he went to work. After washing the dishes, she went to work. After taking a shower, she went to work. After having okay. it, she went to work. So it's okay. That's possible. Sure. But we don't have that option here. Así que no nos queda más que tomar la otra que dice or gerund or noun. So in this case, we take the noun. What about here? While I was watching TV, I found out the news. What's your option? Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. E. I eliminate the subject and the to be. Yes. While watching TV, I found out the news. Number seven. Let's see. As the sun was racing, I put on my clothes. Letter. Por qué? Why letter C? Yeah. Because it's not the same subject. Exactly. Here, my subject and mouse don't answer. Here, my subject is the song, and here, the subject is I. It's not the same subject, right? Okay. Nice. 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 Questions. Sure. See? I'm sorry, but I don't understand the the rule for letter five. Uh, in the fini, the paper no no have a option. We eliminate the option. Check this. You have changed the verb to the gerund form or use a noun. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell. So it could perfectly be uh, after finishing. See. ¿sí? After finishing the paper, pero como esa opción no nos la dan para que ocupemos la otra. Ah. Uh -huh. So, entonces, you can use a noun. Uh -huh. You change the verb to gerund or you use a noun. So, you could perfectly say, after finishing the paper, pero no hay un finishing. No. Esta opción no está. Entonces tenemos que agarrar entre las opciones que están, cuál es la correcta. Y la que nos queda es esta, que en vez de Karen usamos un noun. Ok. Imagine that you say, after, eh, after she was in a party, she went to work. Va. Entonces eliminamos after the party, she went to. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bueno, let's go to the uh, to the discussion. Oops. But we're going to check attendance primero. Attendance time. Eh, Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grecia. Ana Grecia. David. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Oh, oh. Oyeron eso. <ríe> Very electric. Elmer Fabricio. No. Grace Mitchell. Grace Grace. Yvonne Marcela. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Galicet. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lizeta Yanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Ahí está. Bueno, vámonos pues. I'm going to send you in groups again. I'm going to make different groups. Oh, you're more perfect. Bye. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver los oyentes que me queden en diferente dictamo. Bye. What you're going to do now is discuss the questions. Okay, these questions. You're going to move and discuss these questions. What is a SWOT analysis? Do you know what step of the analysis each of the letters in the SWOT represents? Have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? Okay, that's what you're going to discuss from with your partners. You can see uh, those questions in your manual. Let me tell you what page. Page 14 in your manual. Okay. Are you ready for that? Page 14 in your manual. Go to the questions and discuss. Allá vamos. Discussion time.
What is a SWOT analysis? Is I I don't I don't know if it is correct to say a di diagnostic. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a diagnostic of a company where you you can analyze and evaluate the strength, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats to to know what is the situation of the company related related of the market. Mm -hmm. It it were in. It is in. I think that is is what the analysis. I remember it. is that. Well, okay. Hmm. Do you know what step of the non analysis is of the letters is what SWOT represents? Do we know do we know what step of the analysis? Uh, yes. Do you know what step of the analysis? Yeah. Uh, strength. Strength. Weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Mm -hmm. Strength are the all the factors that. Uh, okay. Teacher, we have a question. Tell me. How do you pronounce SWOT? I see, or SWOT. 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 The SWOT analysis. Uh, because uh, we were looking for the traduction and when you introduce us uh, literally the word, the meaning is different because it uh, is you won't, find, uh -huh. you won't find a definition because this is a, uh -huh. an acronym. Exactly. Uh -huh. so look, that was we was discussing with Edwin that uh -huh. It's that, not a word. Mm -hmm. It's not a word. It's a, okay. it's, it's a definition a, of the... It's uh -huh. an acronym. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. I send you by... Ah, yeah, yes. Yeah, I saw. Undertaken by an identity. I need to make strangers and witness as well as it's a student opportunity. Uh -huh. Okay. Ahorita. I'm going to scroll. I was telling Edwin that the last time I told you, teacher, that when I have to to be when I when I want to stay in class, paying attention, I can't because I'm working right. But sometimes it's when in the class is very, very interesting and is about grammar or something like that. And I really hate that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Tell them, no, 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 no. So, 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 sorry, I'm not here. <laughs> uh, you know, I, in, in, the, in the words is that it's ending of the month and it's a Chaos, a chaos, a ca ¿cómo se dice? Chaos. A case. A, a, no, a chaos. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, a chaos. Yeah, it's a chaos. A chaos in the in the work, and so it's very, very difficult to stay in class. Yeah. I imagine. Ahí está. Now, do you remember, next... remember Adriana? that all the classes are recorded. Yes, yes, I know. I am okay. gonna try mm -hmm. you can in vacation. It. Well, I'm you not gonna have, 
Yes, I'm not gonna have vacations. <laughs> uh -huh, but from class, yes. So you can yes. take uh -huh. time to watch the video. Exactly. I'm gonna see, definitely I'm gonna try. <laughs> now there is a... Is a student. Is a study, but I start. Now the next one. Do you? Uh mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. Como vamos? This is interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. I said that to, to Elda that I am studying a bachelor's in business administration. Hey. Uh -huh. And all of my teachers said that a SWAP analysis is a basic for, a, for everything in life. Definitely. Even, even relationship. Yes. You have to test <laughs> or, or balancear. Yes. What is going on in life? For make a decision for everything. Yeah. Um, Definitely. But I I know what FODA is, but I don't. Uh, say, yo no sabía que SWOT analysis is the same as it's the um, same FODA. FODA. Yes. Uh -huh. FODA. Exactly. Uh -huh. Because you have stress, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the folder that we that we have to do very often at work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay. What subjects are you taking right now, Yvonne? Hola? What subjects are you taking right now? Um la gerencia de operaciones. Oh, you're almost the last one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. My university is a little bit different that the, we are used to in El Salvador because it's a university from Spain. Oh. And it's a subject for for a month. And that's better. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Because it's, it's so tired. It's mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. six to nine yeah, but you can dedicate your energy only to one subject. I know. And I have a baby, oh. a baby, a toddler. They are 24-7. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to sad because yeah. in, in this time he's sleeping. Yeah. And and I miss that time. It's yeah. sad for me. Yeah. But I know this is going to be better for for future you're preparing for for giving him a better life yes a better life i know definitely i told him yeah yes but but that's much better taking one subject at a time is much better than having four or five subjects at the same time yes 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 and in this university is is more than real life, no, no tanto relleno, digamos, de cosas que tal vez no van a servir en, yeah, you ya, en la vida, en, en la vida profesional, sino más, o sea, exactamente lo que en realidad sucede ya trabajando. Hey, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Pachalas. How are you doing? Did you finish? Yes. Okay. Let's go then. Okay. But we are back. How many? Oh, 11. A ver. First question What is a SWOT analysis? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. A volunteer. Only one. Hi, teacher. 
<laughs> Only one. Uh -huh. Tell me, Albert. Uh, yeah, in, in this case, we don't need partners. Uh, we say it's a, a tool for studying the situation of a company. Analysis uh, is internal. Uh, it's like a uh, in Spanish, the folder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's the folder, right? It's the short analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what step of the analysis each of the letters represent? What is S? The S stands for strength. Strength. Yeah, strength. Uh, the W. Weakness. Weaknesses. The O. Opportunities. Opportunities. And the T. Threats. Threats. Yeah, the threats. Las amenazas, right? Okay, have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? In your workplace? No? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Sometimes we don't do it complete, right? Because they tell us only, for example, in uh, where I work in the morning, they they sent us to working groups and they said, okay, you write the strength, you write the weaknesses, you, this other group, you write the opportunities, and then this other group, you write the threats. And say why. So you have to explain. At the end, we got together and we shared each of the things. So we made a SWOT analysis, but as a whole team, right? Even if we were thinking about opportunities, but if my job was to write the weaknesses, that's all I had to work on, weaknesses, right? But that's a good way for making a, a SWOT too right? So as a team, you can know better what's going on in the company. Uh, what are the opportunities that you have as a company or what are the threats that you may find, right? Or that you may face. Okay. Anybody else has ever conducted a SWOT analysis? Anybody? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Teacher. Yes. Another thing that we have to con consider, con consider? Uh -huh, is uh, uh, in that SWOT, uh, we have uh, external things and internal things. Exactly. And threats and opportunities are externals are external exactly and uh 2020 um teach us that are things that we are not taking we cannot change sometimes like a pandemic exactly and exactly. i think that uh, no one put that word in, in threats I remember when they uh -huh. told us, you will go home. The children were happy and they say, yes, we will be at home. And I said, no, you don't know, my dear, what your, uh, what your wish is. And I didn't know. It was like if, like if I had been a witch, right? Like, I know you don't know what you're asking for. Because I know what, that when they have... A time like okay you are free you go home and study from home the work is more for them and for us right so I told them I know mis niños no saben lo que piden no saben and you see <laughs> it was funny the first month okay. but... exactly the first 15 days it was like hoo -hoo, yay we are so nice after a month, it was like, oh, teacher, are we going back? Three months later, Miss, 
what will happen to us? Are we going to go back at the end of the year? Are we going back next year? And we're still there with some people in, some people far, right? Imagine two years and two months or three months later, right? But yeah, that was a big, big threat, the pandemic. Oh, it brought some opportunities, right? For example, those companies that didn't have classes online, they became master. I remember when I started studying my master degree, it was 19, 2019, and my husband and I started studying at the university and we said, hey, let's take a master degree together. And we registered, right, to study. And we took a maestría en entorno virtuales de aprendizaje. And we said, that's the future. <laughs> that's the future, 2019. Imagine 2020. We were still studying when the future had become the present. So we were like, oops, okay. No more future. Now we're facing the present. But we're ready, fortunately, right? And that threat became an opportunity. And I was looking for it. I said, I want to work in a company where I can teach classes online. And then all my classes became online. <laughs> <laughs> all the presential ones, everything became online, but that brought the opportunities, as I said, for all the companies who didn't have class that didn't cl have classes online, they had the opportunity to offer them. Was it easy? No. There were processes, right? So there each company had to face the weaknesses they had, talking about equipment talking about the use of platforms and they could consider the strength that they had also, right? So that was a good moment to make a SWOT, a SWOT analysis to see, okay, what are the strengths I have? We have good teachers. Ah. So the teachers are, are ready. Oh no, the teachers are not ready. Witnesses, they don't know how to use the platforms. Okay, let's teach them. And then they took the opportunity to give workshops, right? To teach the teachers and make these weaknesses become a strength. Yeah, and that happened everywhere, right? And the threat continued there. Apart of that, we got some other threats of other schools teaching online too, not only us, right? But after two years, many of the weaknesses that existed at the moment there in 2020 became a strength because the opportunities that appeared in that moment were taken, right? And those threats that existed, some of them became opportunities. So that's how you can make a change, right? Make the, uh, make the weaknesses become strength and make the threats become opportunities. Mm -hmm. That will depend on how the company face or faces each of the, the situations. Okay, Baya, let's go to the conversation now. Let's say, let's repeat after the teacher. Well, let's get started. Well, well, let's get well, the letter. Let's start get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, after, after conducting a SWOT analysis, analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. We will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right? Right. Let's describe right. the strength. Let's describe, Let's describe the, strength. the strength. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. 
That, that means mean the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agenda. We, we offer, offer flexible, flexible schedules to adapt to our, our customers' busy agendas. Mm -hmm. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. Besides, Besides we allow we them to practice, to practice their public speaking their skills since the, the first class. The first class. Okay. That's correct, Mario. That's correct, That's correct Mario. Mario. After discussing our strength, after, after discussing, discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. Let's continue, let's continue with, with our weaknesses. Our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are completely disadvantaged. Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, in, our, in case, our, case, our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. A weakness a might be might the lack, be the of, lack of, parking of parking space, space for, 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 for our customers. customers. Mm -hmm. You're right again, Mario. You're right again, You're right again Mario. Right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the. Me quedo mordido. Porque me quedo mordido. Ay, ya. Vamos a ver. We need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Mm -hmm. We still need to go over the opportunities and threats. Repeat. We still need to go over the opportunities and threats. Or dangers outside that could affect the company. Or dangers outside that could affect the company. Exactly. Questions? No questions? Could you repeat the word competitively? Competitively. Competitively. Compet Thank you. Comp competitively. Vamos a poner otra vez la convert que me quedo. Porque me quedo mordida. <laughs> okay. Pacha. Pa, ahí está, complete. Now, I need two volunteers to read. One would be Mr. Rivas and the other would be Mario. Who wants to be Mr. Rivas? Me, teacher. I, Mr. Mario. Okay, Karen, Mario. Mr. Rivas. Ana. <laughs> Me, teacher. Uh -huh. I'm going to start, uh, Jennifer. Well, let's get started. Karen. After conducting. Perdón. Karen. <laughs> ah, Karen. Karen. ¿Qué dije yo? Ay, Dios mío. Karen, Jennifer. Karen. Perdón, 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 perdón. Bye. <laughs> well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with the project, with this project. Right, right. Let's describe the strength. That means the advance we had over, over our competitor. Competitor. Our competitors. Sigo. Mm -hmm. Sí. 
We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking sky skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our straight strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporation are competi competitive disadvantage. Competitive disadvantage in our case, a uh, weakness maybe. First. Uh, might be might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and treats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, que, que, que cierre la cama para, pero en serio me duele que hoy la terapia de hoy me dejó adolorida. Así es que dicen ellos que se me pega el hombro, entonces que hay que moverlo, pero qué tristeza. Porque yo ya estaba bien galán. Hay que te quieto, vea, que no me muevo, pero que no me duela. Porque hoy sí me quedó que, que no, la ibuprofeno no me ha hecho efecto. Vaya, let's go to the questions in the next slide, but check. Now, do you know about the, about the, the SWOT, which is the best definition for each of these words? You have a strength. Weaknesses, opportunities, and threat. Okay? Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat. Go ahead and then we check. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Provide an analysis of the company advantages over its competitors. What is it? The strength. The strength. Okay. Consider areas in which the companies are at a competitive disadvantage. Weaknesses. Weaknesses. Are a list of unexploited markets or businesses developments. Opportunities. Opportunities. Very good. Huh? They were in order. 
And the last one, explore the... Threads. Sí, qué barbaridad. Explore the external environment that could affect the company, including technological, environmental, and regulatory factors. Mm -hmm. Yes, the environment. Imagine now with the with the weather that is very crazy, that is a threat, definitely, right? The the social situation also can be a threat that can affect the companies, right? Okay, now check what you're going to do here. Uh, remember, you are talking about uh, a new product, right? You have a group where you have been working uh, about a new product. So what you're going to do is retake that new product or service that you have been working about and you're going to brainstorm useful questions to get information related to each of the stages of the SWOT analysis, okay? So run the, the SWOT analysis for your product. Do you remember who you were working with in that part? Hmm? Sí, verdad, estaban con alguien de su compañía principalmente. A ver, I'm going to send you in groups because what you're going to do is complete this part. The strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats about that new product, right? About that new product or service that you were talking about with your partners last time. A ver, I'm going to create the rooms. But I'm going But to... I remember we, with who was working in that exercise. Do you remember? Yes, with Adriana and Adriana Sofia. Bye, okay. Vamos a poner acá, asignar a Ana. Ana, ¿quién más? Ana Leticia. ¿Quién más? Era Adriana, Marcela y Adriana Sofía. Adriana, Marcela y Adriana Sofía. Perfecto. Bye. Ahí van para el grupo 1. A ver, en el grupo 2, ¿quién estaban? ¿Se acuerdan? Sí, sí, yo no me acuerdo qué nombre del grupo era, pero iba con sí. Elmer y José Alberto. Uh -huh. José Alberto y no está Elmer. No, ¿verdad? Vaya, José Alfredo y José Alberto. Vamos al dos entonces. Eh, Rosy, ¿con quiénes iba? Con Grace y... Ay, 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 Karen y Stephanie. No, ¿Karen qué? Grace. Sí, Grace y Karen y Stephanie. Stephanie. Karen y Stephanie. Vaya, van a ser amigas por el resto del curso. Vaya, es a la cuatro. Vaya, ustedes van a la tres. Edwin con Carla, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. ¿Y quién más tenían allí? Eh, Karen. Sí, teacher. Karen, Karen Janet. Karen Janet. Karen Janet. Ah, <risa> Salacín. Va, ustedes están en la cuatro. ¿Quién, ¿Con quién iba Diego? Elda, Ivonne, Jennifer, Lisette, Nubia. ¿Con quiénes iban? ¿Se acuerdan? Yo estaba con Elda. Y bon, y bon. Elda. Pacha. Solo ustedes dos eran Elda. Ah, Nubia. Nubia es la que estaba hablando. No, yo estaba con... Eh, en este último grupo, teacher, porque estaba no, con... No, en el grupo cuando hicieron el brainstorming de lo, del new product. De yesterday or today? No, no, ya días. Ya días. De uh, idea generation, eh, todo eso. Estaba, estaba con Víctor y con 
I, I say victory. I don't know. Listed. Listed, Diana. Sí. Bye. ¿Y los demás con quién estaban? Rebeca se acuerda. I remember que estaba con... No veía a Víctor, pero... ¿Con quién? Creo que estaba... Con no veía a Víctor, creo que estaba yo. Rebeca. Entonces no era Lisette Dayanara la que estaba allí. <coughs> Cuatro, creo. Eran cuatro. Ah, vaya, pues voy a mandar. Bye. <coughs> y Jennifer Elizabeth. Ay, teacher, yo no, yo no me acuerdo con quién. Ah, pues, lo voy a mandar a este grupo que están solo dos. Pero creo que es bueno. Ajá. Ay, espérenme, que ya no me deja. Ay, no, qué barbaridad. Vale, lo voy a mandar hacia ahorita y ya vengo a mandar a los que no he podido mandar. Oye, de hecho, vamos a ver, Jennifer. La voy a mandar al 2. Ana Grisel, ¿se acuerda con quién estaba trabajando? Vaya, la voy a mandar también al dos. José Alfredo, no lo veo que se logre unir. Grace, señorita Grace. Ya está bien. ¿Quién va a proyectar? O oh, no sé. Ana tenía el, el cuadro. Tío. Yo hoy les debo la compartida. Le debo para Aquí voy. No, de la el idea. que no ha descargado el, 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 el libro. manual en la compu. Ah, Ajá. Aquí está ya. Ya pueden ver. Sí. sí. Vaya, pues empecemos. Okay. Es que era, era, se acuerdan que era aquel, aquel producto, aquel servicio que íbamos a ofrecer Ajá. a los papás y no sé qué. El mm. Inclusive Así summer es. camp, inclusive summer camp. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, strings. Sí. Vaya. Quiero ver en el foda. En clase, sí. Vaya, primero empecemos con la fortaleza. String. Fortaleza, sí. Vaya. Fortaleza. Vale, la fortaleza tienen que ver. It has to be with the internal things, right? Mm -hmm. That give so, us that give us vintage. ¿Cómo? Sorry. That give us an advent, advantage over our competitors. Exactly. And has to be about in uh, internal things internal about things. our product. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, for example, will be innovation service. Uh -huh. What else? 
No, it's no innovation, it's innovative. Oh. ¿Cómo se dice relaciones eh, fuertes? ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo decir? Espera, espera, espera. Strong, strong familiar is relationship, no sé. The strong relations. Strong, re strong relation. Uh -huh. No, pero ese sería, ese sería una oportunidad porque es algo, o sería una fortaleza. Una, no. una fortaleza. Sí. Mm. No, es que yo tengo entendido que... But remember that the strengths and the weaknesses son internas. Eso es lo que tiene. Ajá. The opportunities and threats son lo de fuera. No, ajá, pero eso es lo que, lo que tiene la empresa y las relaciones fuertes se las estaríamos creando a los... A, lo, a, a la, a la externa. No, ajá, no aplica porque no es de la empresa. Ajá, el servicio sería... O sea, como servicio, que es lo nuevo o lo, la, la, la ventaja que damos? Vea. Ajá, y la oportunidad sería como mercado, el mercado que es lo que le ofrecemos. Algo así. Uh -huh. O sea, lo, 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 lo interno. Lo interno es lo, lo del servicio en sí, lo del, lo del campamento. Y la oportunidad sería ajá, como, como nos proyectamos hacia afuera. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces ese, ese de la, ¿cómo que se llama? Lo de la familia sería una oportunidad. No, tampoco. Porque te estás analizando a vos como empresa, como a vos como servicio. Y eso que estás, que, o sea, eso de las relaciones, porque imagino que relaciones fuertes te está refiriendo al vínculo que estarías creando entre padres e hijos. Ajá. Entonces, no, eso ya es de la familia. O sea, eso no es parte de lo que vos ofreces. Uh -huh. eso, es lo, eso es parte de lo que vos creas. O sea, de lo que vos desarrollas con tu servicio. Entonces, eso, el, el crear relaciones fuertes, entraría en, en la parte de la innovación del servicio. O sea, en un servicio que no, que no hay en otro lado. pues. Pero lo de las relaciones fuertes ya es un factor de la familia y de los niños y de los padres. Mira, si hacen bien los ejercicios, vea. Uh -huh. ¿A quién? Ok. Sí. Yo soy tu mamá. Invited service. Mm, quiero ver entonces qué más podría ser Invited service. Inclusion. ¿Cómo? Inclusion. Uh -huh. Pero es como una metodología inclusiva. Inclusion. Uh -huh. Inclusion. Met Methodology. Inclusive Met Methodology. Met uh -huh. Es correct teacher. Innovative service, inclus, inclusive methodology. Sí, methodology. Sí, ¿verdad? Another, another could be knowledge. Otra fortaleza es el knowledge because you can offer only what you know. Mm. Ajá, pero, pero ¿quién tiene el knowledge? Nuestro eh, personal o nuestra empresa. Uh -huh. Ajá, our, eh, no, eh, sería personal capacitado, quizás. Entonces. Yes, that's, that's the word. Uh -huh. Knowledgeable, knowledgeable people. No. Acknowledge. Ac. No empieza con la. Ac. No. Sí, así es verdad. No. 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 no, 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 no Like a forty forty dollars, forty five dollars. Um, you can put um, ay, se me fue la idea. Like high high cost, creo que es. Ay, se me olvidó. Yo había puesto expensive, bueno, expensive. Ajá, expensive. Ajá, esa es la palabra. Yo había puesto y la preparación. Eh, pues la verdad, como preparación en serio, es manufacturing. 
Lo único no, que me queda. refiero a cuando ya va a ser aplicada. Ah, aplicada. Con agua. Ah, normal. Okay. Es acrílica. Uh -huh. But it's no. ¿Cómo sería? No es fabricado en el país. Sería. It is a um, product, produce, producing, producing in the country. Not produced in the country. Mm. Or manufacture. Manufacture, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Manufacture. Puede ser. El exceso de omega 3. Puede aparecer una debilidad muscular. Bueno, pero hay que mencionar que es el exceso, ¿no? El exceso del medicamento causa... No, pero nos, contrad... nos contradecimos en no side effects. Sí, pero es que, o sea, si se fija usted, todas las vitaminas dicen eso, pero al mismo tiempo ahí le dicen, no, la si usted está medicado. Ajá, correcto. Si usted ya se medica con otra cosa o si, o si padece cierta cosa. Entonces, y acuérdese que los excesos también son malos. Incluso si tomara mucha agua le va a hacer daño. Uh -huh. Mucha agua hace mal. Sí, tengo entendido que sí. Yo lo tengo entendido que duele el estómago, sí, usted está lleno. <risa> Aparte que no lo puede digerir. <risa> puede causar dolor muscular, digo, ¿verdad? No, este debilidad muscular. El exceso de omega 3 puede causar debilidad muscular. De exceso. Excess. Sí, verdad. Excess. Corríjame. Uh, excess. Ajá, pero si quiere también no le pone el TH. Sin esto. Ajá. Excess. Chem. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí sería la conexión. Constante, ¿cómo sería? Constante. Um, that's right. A big capacity or a great capacity. Una gran capacidad. Vaya, uh -huh. Witnesses. Hoy que vamos con la dirección. And the first witnesses may be the. Ah, de, uh -huh. Le que le decía, como no conoce el sería ajá, que solo nos centremos en Centroamérica y no a nivel ¿cómo sería? regional. Ajá. 
está para llenar. Ok. Ok. Creo que ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Okay. Qualify. Say personal. Yes, personal. Sales personal, okay. Como amenaza. No, no, no. Eh, la palabra en, en strength. Ajá. Uh -huh. La palabra personal. Personal. ¿Cómo se escribe? Personal. Personal. Uh -huh. ¿Así? Personal, con double N. Personal. With L. With A. With E. With yes. E, okay. Mm -hmm. You're ready, right? Yes, we're ready. Perfect, let's go. Vamos a ver. 22 seconds and everybody will be here. Nice, everybody here. Okay, but sure. I'm going to call attendance. Uh, tell me, did you finish your SWOT analysis for your product? No. No yet. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you 10 minutes at the beginning of the class. And yes, then... please. Okay. And then you share. Adri, Ana, Sofia, present. Present. Ana, Alicia. Present. Ana Grisel, David, Diego, no está David, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, Edwin. Present teacher. El Dam Cristina. Present. El Mer Fabricio. No hear el Mer. No. Marcela. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth. 
present. Jessica Lisette. Jose. Ana, sí, Ana. La primera Ana es usted. La segunda Ana es Ana Grisel. Sí. Ana Alicia Press. Sí, vean. Ana. Se nos perdió Ana. Ana, hello. Ana. Perdió. Me quedé con quién? Con Elmer, ¿verdad? Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michelle. Pero aparece, teacher, en, el, en la lista de todos. ¿Quién? Sí, pero. Ana. Ana. Quizás se le ha trabado el micrófono otra vez. Yo creo que se le trabó el micrófono porque está escribiendo en el grupo. Se durmió. <ríe> se durmió. Sí, sí, aquí escribió. Soy yo, soy yo. Ajá. Pero, ¿sabes? Va. Grace Michelle. Grace, Grace. Grace. No está Grace. No durmió tan bien, qué barbaridad. Ivón. Ivón Marcela. Hola. <ríe> También se durmió. Jennifer Alisa. Jennifer. Jessica. José Alfredo. José Alberto, primero, primero, perdón. José Alberto. Antes de que me diga José Alberto y yo. Karen Janet. Present teacher. No, es que miren, de tanto que me tuve que echar porque no aguantaba el hombro, creo que este volado, el que me tiene china ya, así el mentón, <ríe> y así. <ríe> Entonces ya así, ya, mirando con un ojo chiloso. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Nice. Lisa Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alberto. Alfredo, peche, lo estoy cruzando. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Va, hoy sí estamos, cabales. Bueno, ¿quién se queda conmigo, David? Ok, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Oh. Bye. 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 See you, see you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, hi, Carla. Me quedo congelada, Carlita.
Thank you. 